Hey, this is Kevin David Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. And today I'm going to be expanding on our ever-growing list of cool concepts in regards to fasting and exercise and fitness. So I'm specifically going to talk today about calories in versus calories out. And I've been seeing a lot of experts recently and bodybuilders and stuff talking about how fasting is complete BS and they're throwing it under the boss and they're saying there's no such thing as time-restricted eating or long fast. It doesn't benefit you anymore to burn fat and lose weight than just conventional six to eight meals a day and working out uh, with food in your stomach. Well, I beg to differ. They didn't address any of the key things that happen and the many physical processes that occur when you're fasting. So let's review some of this. First things first, when you work out on an empty stomach, your body has to rely on stored fat for energy. That may not happen in your first workout, it may not happen after a week, but over time, when you continually work out in a fasted state, 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours, anywhere in that range, your body then becomes fat adapted. It's absolutely 100% fact. Your body will burn more fat for energy while you're working out and it will rely on fat after you're done working out too for at least 24 hours. So your body becomes fat adapted around the clock. So that is definitely a way to get peeled and to get more defined. And a lot of these experts are saying, that's a bunch of crap. You could eat at 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, as long as you burn more calories than you consume. But they don't go into the, the minutia of what actually happens. Now, another thing is your fat burning actually goes up after about 12 hours. And they're saying, oh yeah, there's no difference in metabolism. There's nothing, you know, big, no big deal in that respect as well. But once you start getting 12 to 16 hours and then even 24 hours and farther down the road in a fast, your metabolism actually rises. Your body isn't stupid. It's not going to break down muscle. It's going to preserve muscle. And the longer you fast, I mean, I've done five-day fast, four-day fast, two-day fast, three-day fast, and I burn like complete fat from my body. I'm left with nothing but muscle, skin, and bones and connective tissue when I'm done with fast. So your body relies on fat, and it relies on junky cells in your system, rogue cells, um, that would cause any kind of inflammation or any kind of disease or all these other things, and that's a stage called autophagy. They didn't talk about autophagy at all because they just don't have the sense to do it or they don't know about it. Autophagy occurs usually in someone who's already fit and eating clean around 24 hours. It starts to really ramp up. Even like 16 hours of fasting every single day over a long period of time, working out in a fasted state, you're going to scratch autophagy all the time. So just do the math on that one. It's going to boost your immune system. It's going to help with your energy levels. It's going to do magnificent wonders for your body. So it's always in your best interest to try to work out in a fasted state to burn fat to get into autophagy anytime you can. And then, when you break the fast, you, your body produces a high amount of stem cells, which are very good for recovery and, again, reducing inflammation. Stem cells, people pay $30,000 to go get their elbows and their knees and their shoulders shot up all the time with, with, with stem cell treatments. Why not just get onto a fasting regimen and naturally use your body to your advantage and boost your stem cells that way? So that is going to have a carryover effect in your workouts because you're going to have less pain, less inflammation, better brain function, better ability to concentrate when you're trying to lift 500 pounds off the ground with a deadlift. So all these things go into play when it comes to fasting in conjunction with fitness and working out. So don't always believe these people that still try to shove six and eight meals down your throat and work out, make sure you have a banana and yogurt an hour before your workouts. I don't agree with that at all. If you go into a workout 16 hours fasted, and that takes a lot of effort too, that takes a lot of discipline, your HGH levels really start to amp up at about 16 hours. So what does that translate to? You're going to have a higher ability to burn fat when your HGH is high and build and maintain lean muscle mass. So in the big picture, don't be afraid, I said it again in one of my earlier videos, don't be afraid to fast, don't be afraid to work out in a fasted state. And if you haven't seen that video, I talk about how to control your hunger and all those kind of things if it happens to occur when you're working out. So that's my take on the fasting is BS in regards to burning fat, and it's not calories in versus calories out. Plus, if you eat, okay, let's say you eat 2,500 calories, and you do that in two meals, and you eat at 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock, and you're done by 5. You have nothing in between those two meals. You have a little bit of a fast there. And then you wake up the next day, and you go to the gym at, say, 7 o'clock. You're 14 hours fasted already. By the time you're done working out, you're 15 and a half, 16 hours fasted. Way more advantageous than eating six meals a day, finishing your last meal at 10 o'clock at night and having cottage cheese and casein protein in there or like a kale salad with, um, with chicken breast on it. Even that, a healthy meal, it's still not good to eat that late at night. It's just not good for your body. Your body doesn't have time to reset when you're sleeping. It's going to disturb your sleep patterns. It's going to blunt your HGH while you sleep and it's going to compromise your immunity and it's going to compromise your recoveries from your workouts. So it makes zero sense. But yet these guys keep spewing this information out. But I want you to be aware of what's going on. So Try to avoid that late night eating, try to do some fasting, try to work out in a fasted state, and watch what happens. You just do it yourself, and let me know how you make out. This is Kevin David Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Wild Warrior Nutrition.